So what is good YouTube? It's your boy Retro Young. You already know what it is. We have finally reached the Q&A video. I want to give a big shout out to all the subscribers out there and everyone who left comments and you know just feedback on the channel. Um, I want to give a special shout out to Young J Zero Zero. That's Young Letter J Zero Zero. Um, he did exactly what I wanted, uh, you know, my subscribers to do. I wanted them to leave comments, leave topics, leave questions, and he actually left about, excuse me, 15 questions. So, I'm actually just going to break down all of his questions, not on this video, but I'm going to break it down, you know, through the, la the next couple of videos and, you know, through the camp lives and things like that. I'm just going to answer, uh, you know some of the questions that he asked because a lot of them was definitely good questions that I, I i would love to you know just chime in on and talk about so i'm gonna share those with you if, once again if anybody has any comments or topics that they want me to uh speak about should i say um or questions they want to ask me i will answer them all um just leave it down below or email me at retro young um at icloud.com or kickgamesc at gmail.com so Let's get right into it. Um, the first question that he asked was, let me get this pulled up here. First question that he asked was, how do you feel about the current state of the sneaker community with all of the people getting ripped off, with people getting ripped off and sold fakes? Okay, so how do I feel about that? Um. How I feel about it, I don't really feel that it's good or that it's bad. Obviously, someone's saying, well, how do you not, not feel that it's bad? Well, this is what I'm saying. I can't knock someone's hustle. If they feel that that's what they want to do or that's what they're going to do, you know, in this game, um, then, hey, that's for them. It's not for me. You know what I mean? Like, that's for them. Like, so I'm not going to knock their hustle because it's a way to make money. Like, there's a good and bad to everything. So that's a way for them to make money. I feel personally that it takes advantage of those that are just getting in this game that don't really know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, some people believe, like, if the price is too good to be true, then, you know, don't buy it. Other people think they're getting a deal and then they wind up... Uh, either bringing them to a sneaker show or bringing them to somebody like me or trying to trade with somebody and finding out that it's fakes. And in that instance, it's not good, you know what I'm saying? Um, because then it intertwines fakes with freaking the real sneaker and people can't tell and then you have these, uh, these sneaker shows, you gotta have these things that are legit checks and things like that. So, you know, like, um, the good side of it is sometimes it takes the fakes and the scammers and the things like that for to have certain people that are bandwagoners or people that are not really in this game for the love of it to get uh, uh I don't know what you want to say um get sick of it I guess you could say or don't want to mess with the sneaker game anymore because they've been scammed too many times but there's so many things out there to keep you from getting scammed you know what I'm saying like there's there's you can buy from uh, verified sellers you can go out and get your sneaker you know what I'm saying like like I always say I preach that like go and get your own sneaker or pre-order it from a, a flagship store or somewhere that you know that is legit that someone else co-signs another sneaker person like me or uh, you know other youtubers uh, that that uh, that they talk about where they order from or where they go to get their shoes. You know, there's all you got to do is research nowadays. We're in the information age. You know what I'm saying? Like, we know when these sneakers are coming out. We know where to go and get these sneakers. It's not really hard to stay away from getting scammed. But if you've been in this sneaker game for as long as I have been or even longer, like, if, you're, if you've been in this sneaker game and you're a part of this culture then you've been scammed before or you've uh, somebody has gotten you before it's and it doesn't have to be for a fake but you could have been on the deal of you were selling a shoe and somebody got you for for your shoes or you could have been trying to buy a shoe and somebody got you for your money it, it, it if you've been if you've been in this game before or for a long time should i say it's happened like everybody has to learn you live and you learn in this game and once you've gotten to the point to where you're smarter and you're wiser and you listen and you talk to certain people in this game, it becomes real easy after that. So how I feel is the community is going to be um, how it is. You're going to have the good people that are that do business right 
and don't try to take advantage of people because I think that the same people that take advantage with rate prices are just as bad as the people that sell fakes and reps and, and things like that. So, I mean, it, it, it it's basically your own personal preference. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not going to knock anybody's hustle. I just know I stay far away from it and I would, you know, advise you to do the same. So, um, yeah, thanks, young um, J00, for these questions that I'm probably going to be answering over the next couple of videos. And like I said, if you want your questions to be answered, just send them in to the kid, and I'll definitely get to them. So, um, yeah, without further ado, you all already know, I'm addicted. You're addicted. Um, bang, bang.